Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Basically today we're gonna be going over some creative mixing techniques, a drop switch basically for trap music. Um, this one's cool because they're different basically genres technically and the BPMs are a lot different, but with a little bit of adjusting we can get a really, really cool drop switch from these two trap tracks. So the first one, uh, the first track that we're actually gonna be using is take five and take five silver and we're going to be mixing it into troy boy mm. take five silver track is at 140 and then the troy boy mm is at 74 so we're going to bump that down to 70 and the reason why is because you can mix half times into each other and make them align so we all know that 128 will mix into 128 126 and 126 etc um, but you can also do double times and and half times so if my track is at 70, um, multiply that by two and it's 140. So the track is actually gonna be aligned and one is gonna be sped up um, or just staying at the same tempo and one's gonna be slowed down. And so by the time they cross each beat, they're gonna be back um, and aligned. So it's a really cool little tip, can allow you to actually mix a lot more music together than just sticking to the same BPMs or roughly similar. What we're gonna be doing is I already set a cue point at the last vocal of this uh, this drop. It's the last, the third, um, the third, or the sorry, the fourth beat of this bar. So it's the very last one, and I just set a cue point there. Um, I could do a hot cue, but for just this tutorial, I'm just gonna be setting a regular cue point. And then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be waiting for. Um, basically the last little, so this is what it's going to sound like. Basically, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit Q and hit, uh, or drop down the volume fader. Um, you can, uh, press play pause in order to end the first track, but, uh, with the vinyl speed adjust, it can either like r slow down really slowly or it can stop right away, but I just use the volume fader just cause uh, if anything goes wrong, I can switch it back uh, right to the drop or it just cuts it immediately. Um, so yeah, let's get back into this mix. So I can already bring this one in. I just have to get the timing right. Yeah, so cool little thing. I'm gonna go through that one more time. So let's try that out, but at a different point. So it didn't work on that one. Let's try it just before the drop. Nope, so basically the best point there um, that I determined was Um, yeah, so this was just kind of like a little example of the type of creative mixing that you can do um, when you can just figure out different BPMs of different tracks and just how the vocals work with each other and just playing around with it. Um, so it's cool because it gives the crowd something unexpected to look for. And um, yeah, it's just a quick little thing that you guys can do. Let me know what other kind of tutorials you guys want to see and if you like this tutorial. 
and yeah so two tracks again were take five silver and troy boy mm. and um yeah take care see you guys in a future video peace